Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, it's your girl, it's your girl, May. welcome back to my youtube channel today i've got another beautiful video for you guys today i'm going to be going through my jewelry collection and just showing you guys the necklaces that i've accumulated over the past couple of weeks months years years i don't know but yeah before i begin i would just like to say i hope you guys have been seeing my new shorts that i've been posting recently i want you guys to literally just watch them like them comment on them just just go wild just go wild you have my page you have my page just go wild i just want more audience retention i want more audience feedback so comment what more sh what shorts you want to see and whatnot but today it's going to be a beautiful video as we're going to be going through my necklace collection these are some of the necklaces that i've accumulated over the past couple of like months and like through my birthday and so forth so i just wanted to show you guys and also recommend a few necklaces as well but the main thing that i actually wanted to say to you guys sorry the main thing that i just wanted to say to you guys is that as much as i'm going to be showing you guys different pieces of jewelry uh, necklaces that I really like and really fancy and makes my outfits pop out the most important thing is our inner man not how we dress ourselves especially as women or whoever's watching this if you're a man um it's not about the jewelry you wear but it's about your inner spirit the the spirit being that we can't see how you um how you mould your inner spirit, what you allow yourself to listen to, what you allow yourself to, what you expose yourself to is what's most important. So as much as I'm going to show you so many different jewelries that really look nice, I want you to know that my main focus is your inner man, your inner body, what you listen to, how your, what, how your heart is, how kind you are, how much you respect other people. It's not about what you wear. Or how you dress yourself is about the inner being so let's say i'm wearing like billions on my neck but i can't share with my neighbor or i can't love my neighbor as i love myself that's harmful so it's better for me to have no jewelry but have the best heart ever than to have all the jewelry in the world and have such a horrible spirit so that's the thing that i really want to em emphasize before starting that your inner man is so important in comparison to fancy jewelry fancy hairstyles fancy clothing you get me guys i'm changing you know i'm actually changing and i'm gonna bring up a verse before i begin and the verse is first pr chapter three verse three don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles expensive jewelry or beautiful clothes you should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. This is how the holy women of old made themselves beautiful. They put their trust in God and accepted the authority of their husbands. So here the Bible is very clear. I'm reading NLT and it says, You should clothe yourselves instead with the beauty that comes from within. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. And what is a gentle and quiet spirit? Someone who's humble, like humility is key. Humility is key. And that is so precious to God. So it's like, don't be too phased about jewellery, but be phased about what's inside. The, the beauty within, not the beauty outside, the beauty within how beautiful you are within, what you expose yourself, what you read, what you listen to is so beautiful. So focus more on the inside rather than the outside. But I just came on now, I'm going to show you my necklaces that I have accumulated and have got for like presents and stuff because I just thought like it would be a nice video idea and I can even like signpost you guys to some things. Guys, I think I should have untangled it before the video. What do you guys think? Okay. So this is the first one that I have and this was gifted to me for my birthday and it's just like a blue um let me pull my thing down a little bit it's like a blue necklace it's giving me I don't know what kind of sapphire it is I can't remember is it red I think so 
but I love blue, so. I don't know how much this was. I don't, I think it was from H. Samuel, I think, I can't remember. But it was a present, so. And I really, really like it. I fancy it. I'm just gonna go close so you guys can see. Yeah, it's actually really, really cute. I love the colour and I feel like this can be dressed with like, I would even say blue, like something, even this is working, this is working, but this is working, this is definitely working. But yeah, I would wear it maybe with like a white, maybe like a white dress or something cute. I love how it sparkles, it's really elegant. You could even put it up here to be honest, but it's really elegant. It's really elegant, it gives elegance definitely gives elegance but yeah it was a birthday present and i wouldn't wear this casually i would definitely wear it to wear it properly like going out like a fancy a fancy going out then i would wear this because it's really cheek and promotes elegance which we love and i love the fact that it's blue i absolutely love blue guys that's the first thing I'd like to show you guys. And then it's basically what it looks like closer. So it's really cute. Someone say if I'm not. <laughs> okay. So that's the first one. I rate it good. Good rating because I love it. Okay, the second thing that I would like to show you guys is a Swarovski necklace that I got for my birthday, guys. Oh my gosh, I've been spoiled, guys. And it is so gorgeous. You know when you want a necklace? Because I remember sending this to someone. And you know when you're like, you know when you just send something and you don't actually expect the person to remember when it comes to your birthday? That was literally what happened. But, um... Yeah, that was literally what happened. Like, you know when you just send something to someone and then, like, your birthday comes, you're like, oh, my gosh, like, I remember sending this to you, but I didn't know you were actually going to buy it for me. Because, you know, when you're just like, oh, that was nice. Like, it's a nice necklace. But, yeah, it's so pretty. It's like, um, okay. So, next up is this really nice, pretty Swarovski, um necklace with two hearts. It's so beautiful genuinely so beautiful so i'm just gonna try it on i really love this necklace it just makes me feel like a princess and also what i like about it is at the back this is what it's like at the back like there's a is it like a there's a dark shape like the logo so like at the back of my neck you'll be able to see this and i just think that is so attractive i don't know why but i just feel like it's so I feel like it's so attractive. Oh my god. So this is how it looks like on. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, guys. I love Swarovski so much. Okay, okay. This one sometimes goes too close to my neck. But um I do love it a lot. Who doesn't love Swarovski? Swarovski. I love the the thing I like about the Swarovski um necklaces is they're very elegant and simple but they just produce that effect. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. Like, it literally, it literally does what it's supposed to do. It's elegant, it's cheek, but it it produces the results. It produces the results, it's like, wow. Because not everyone has this necklace, you get me? So, it's nice. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so. A third necklace that I have and I got for my birthday and it's just so gorgeous. Obviously it's a cross and I love wearing it because when you're outside it just shows that you are representing Christ as much as you can. You know, I just feel like it's really beautiful and, and it's so me. It's literally so me and I love that about the necklace because I love sparkly things and to have a sparkly cross is literally everything and i love how big it is as well i do love it <clears throat> i do love it so yeah this one normally like hangs on my outfit rather than like 
on my neck but it's really cute it's really cheek i love it i love it so much i do love this one a lot and it's not even like it was a birthday present but it, the i just love how it's new because i love sparkly things genuinely and i wouldn't ask for it differently i wouldn't ask for it to be silver i love that it's gold and it like melts with my neck and then it's shiny so it's like if it was just all gold then it would just melt but because it's gold and it's like silver it's like kind of in your face but not in your face and it's just showing christ is in me christ is in my heart it's deep it's deep it's deep it's deep it's deep it's too deep it's too deep guys it's deep <laughs> so yeah that was the third one i wanted to show you guys <clears throat> okay the fourth one that i wanted to show you guys is gold this was a gift as well and it's like a cross again guys because i'm a christian that's what we do here we go crosses and it is beautiful sometimes i just wear it when i'm wearing like a simple you know when you're wearing like a simple black top oh gosh guys you know you just want to dress like a little simple a little simple representing i love this necklace as well i'm just putting it on but yeah, I like all of my necklaces because I feel like they're all really different. Like the blue one's quite different and then the big cross silver is different and then the Swarovski heart's different. So not, none of them are like, no two pair is the same. That's what I'm saying, like none of them are the same. Oh gosh, God, I'm struggling to put it on. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually struggling to put it on. <coughs> Let me try. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm struggling. But yeah, this is nice and beautiful. This is my first cross necklace, and I'm so grateful that I have it because it's so elegant. It's so elegant. It's not as much in your face as the other one, but I love how elegant it is and how it just sits on my neck. I feel like gold actually really suits my skin in comparison to silver, but I feel like they're both nice. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below if gold or silver works more for me. And then <clears throat> the last necklace I have is Tangled. Um, so as you guys know that I had a Swarovski unboxing video and I ended up losing that necklace in the library. What I have nothing to say. So I bought a replacement from New Look and um, it's obviously not the same. But... Um, it's obviously not the same but it, my mistake guys when you go to the library make sure your bag's closed when you have a necklace in it because losing it was very silly of me and i was even like contemplating buying a new one but it's too expensive to buy a new one so that's the thing about buying expensive things like if you can't buy it three times why buy it at all but yeah so i'm just trying to open it it's not working Okay, I'm just gonna hold it like this. But yeah, so <clears throat> basically just sits on my neck like the other one. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. I have nothing else to say about this because <laughs> it's obviously not the same as the Sorosity one, but it does the job. It definitely does the job. So I hope you guys loved slash enjoyed that video. I hope you are subscribed to my channel if you're not please subscribe please join my community please join my friendship also i would love for you guys to be more active so comment on my videos like them subscribe subscribe okay and i will be bringing you some new content by the grace of god so just stay posted and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this bye